Make certain the tape is free of damage, and the tape and the object to be measured are both clean. Wrap the tape inside the object to be measured. Slide the tape back and forth so the tape is wrapped evenly inside the part to be measured. Make certain the tape is flat and snug to the part so the gauge member is flat against the vernier scale. Each line on the gauge member represents 25 thousandths of an inch, while each line on the vernier scale represents 1 thousandths of an inch. Locate the zero on the vernier scale and note the highest value achieved on the gauge scale below it, which is the highest value to the right of the zero. In this example, the vernier is past the 11.925 line. Next, observe the vernier scale's value at the point where it lines up exactly with the marked division line on the gauge scale. In this example, the value is 18, which represents 0 .018. Finally, to obtain the diameter of the object, simply add the two values together. 11.925 plus 0 .018 equals 11.943 inches. As a suggestion for checking very large diameters, pieces of masking tape can be used to hold the tape in the proper parallel position. In many applications, magnets can also be used. When not in use, wipe the tape clean and apply a light rust preventive oil. Store the tape in the canister provided.